It is April of 2022, and I have another top five list for guns that are going to be going out in the uh, premier auction at Poolands. And today, the list is big bore firearms, big bores. My impression of what are the most interesting big bores might be different than yours. So please don't think this is all of the ones included, but I picked five of some pretty cool ones. At least I think so, and I think you might think so too. Number five on the list is a really interesting piece. It is a 50 BMG commercial type gun it is in a really interesting Monte Carlo style stock. I mean, this just looks like a sporting gun, but bigger, a little bit bigger. All right, a lot of bit bigger. It is serial number 001, and if I'm pronouncing it right, the manufacturer is Minnick. M-I-N-N-I-C-H, -I, -N -N -I, I believe. Um, it is a single shot bolt action, and it's chambered in 50 BMG. If that's number five, you know where this list is gonna go. Very cool gun. Now, because of my physical limitations, I can't lift anything. I'm not supposed to be lifting anything a lot heavier than a gallon of milk. But, as you know Dave, who helps me shoot here regularly, he's gonna help me move guns around today and show them to you. So this is the Minic 50 BMG single shot, bolt action, stainless steel firearm. Before on my list of the really cool big bore guns in the May 2022 pool and auction is an extremely rare German World War I anti-tank gun. Now this thing is chambered in 13.25 millimeter. This is a single shot anti-tank rifle, anti-material rifle, anti-armor rifle. It was actually designed during World War I to penetrate the armor of the pesky tanks and that's when body armor was first being toyed with a little bit. Um, so it helped, at least in their mind, to be able to defeat the enemy's body armor. Also, the machine gun nests and the sniper encampments were typically armored. So this was going to help them, again in their mind, get through that armor to stop those threats. In actuality, it is an enlarged Mauser action, uh, bolt action rifle. Uh, even on, on the receiver, it actually says Mauser 1918, and it looks just like the Mauser Model 98, except much larger, with two additional locking lugs. This gun weighs a whopping 41 pounds, and it measures 5 feet 6 inches in length. Actually, just a little bit longer than 5 foot 6. Uh, approximately 15,000 or so were supposedly manufactured, and a few of them made their way to the United States uh, in museums, and a few... Um, what I would say a fortunate uh, VFW posts. Number three on my list of the coolest big bore guns in the May of 2022 auction is the Alexander Arms Elite Ulfbert rifle. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It is named after a legendary line of ancient swords uh, that the Vikings used that were supposed to be uh, maybe a thousand years ahead of their time as far as the strength of the steel. Um, from doing some of the research on this thing, uh, I was looking into the original swords and this technology didn't surface again uh, historically for another 1,000 years. So it doesn't seem to be very clearly known why these swords were so strong and so tough, um, but they were strong and tough and from what I understand a few examples uh, still exist today. It was designed to be a 2,000 yard rifle, accurate out, out to 2,000 yards. And the action actually was adopted from the belt fed, the DP-28, flipped upside down. Now, in order to help tame the massive recoil of that 338, the bolt travel length is actually twice that of the cartridge length. You look at a lot of uh, self-loading guns and you'll see that that bolt travels just a little bit further than the length of that cartridge in order to save room. This one didn't do that. This one, the bolt length actually travels two times longer than that cartridge length to help make it manageable. The rifle has some interesting engraving on it, the patterns, and, and this weave type of pattern is said to have been from these original Viking swords. And looking closely at it, it seems realistic to me that it would be. The number two gun on my list of the top five coolest uh, big bore rifles in the May 2022 auction 
is the Granite Mountain Arms 585 GMA. This thing is a beast. This looks like, again, a traditional sporting rifle, um, but it is chambered in a massive round. It is an African safari grade rifle. From what I understand, it's actually even overkill as an African safari grade rifle. Now this thing weighs 12 pounds and it's built around that 585 GMA cartridge on what looks like an enormous uh, Mauser type action. And this thing throws a 750 grain pill at 2200 feet per second, actually a little in excess of 2200 feet per second. That gives you 8,000 foot-pounds of energy. This thing is massive, and that's why the Granite Mountain Arms 585 GMA is number two on my list of the top five coolest big bore rifles. And the rifle that I think is the coolest big bore in the May 2022 auction, could it be any other? Could it be any other than the Barrett M82 A1 50 BMG rifle? Now, th this is... A, this is a fantastic offering. It actually has a loophole scope on it and it has the bores, the Barrett optical ranging system, the computer um, designed for the Barrett integrated with the loophole scope. What a package this thing is. Now the 50 BMG uh, Barrett M82 is the brainchild of Ronnie Barrett as most of us are going to know, introduced in 1982. The M82A1, such as this one, made its debut in 1986. And by 1990, it found a permanent place in all of our armed branches and has been uh, an important part of every conflict we've been involved in from that point forward. This beast weighs in at around 33 pounds and is 60 uh, inches in length. And its primary purpose is as an anti-material rifle. The secondary use is as a long-range EOD gun, a long-range explosive ordnance disposal firearm. With the, the ballistics of the 50 BMG, you can be back quite a ways when you have to detonate some unexpanded ordnance. And it accomplishes that, throwing that pill through a massive 29-inch fluted free-floating barrel. This one is set up and all complete. That's why it is number one on my list of the coolest big bore rifles in the May 2022 pool and auction. I promise I won't let you down, and I have an honorable mention. Now, my honorable mention piece may not fit in this category the same as the, the previous guns, those that were listed uh, five through one, but if you look at it, it certainly appears to have a big bore. In actuality, it is a Ruger 7722 with a swivel machine drop-on arrow kit. Uh, arrow is in A-I-R-R-O-W, and the arrow kit allows you to launch arrows by utilizing 22 long rifle uh, blanks. These 22 blanks can allow you to throw uh, a type 25-12 arrow uh, in excess of 430 feet per second. To make it even better, um, this is just a drop-on or drop-in kit and all you need to, to uh, add this to your Ruger 7722 um, is an Allen wrench, and that's it. And it's that easy to disassemble it to go back to, this, to the standard factory barrel. So this thing has a big barrel. It throws, lengthwise, a big projectile. To me, I just find it fascinating, but that's why I give it honorable mention in my big bore guns for the pool in 2022 May auction. I hope that you enjoyed this list, my top five big bore guns of the auction. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying the previous list. I'll link them over here and I'll put them in the description below the video. Give me some feedback on them. If you have another idea for other uh, things that would make an interesting top five list, I want to hear it. I have a few others that I'm working on, but I also want to hear your feedback. Um, I do a better job when I listen to you, so it's advantageous for me to do that. So if you did like the video, please click like, share us with your friends in your vast social media universe. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already, and make sure you hit notify. If you like to talk about guns, the best place to do that is probably Facebook at facebook.com slash guntestvids. And don't forget to check out our cool merch, our nice t-shirts that they make for us at Bunker Branding. And that will be in the description below the video as well. Stay tuned. We'll have some more top five lists coming. And until next time, have fun and be safe. <laughs>